production on Amazon Prime's TV adaptation of the popular action RPG series Fallout is picking up steam as casting for the show continues to add big names to its roster. In this video, I'd like to briefly discuss what we know so far about this upcoming Fallout adaptation, including the most recent casting announcements for the show. The series of Fallout games are set in a post-apocalyptic age during the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd centuries. It presents a fictionalized version of humanity's history and future where the Cold War paranoia of the 1950s continued to dominate the United States culture and in the year 2077 culminated in a devastating nuclear war between the US and China, creating the wasteland that is the game setting. One of the signature features of the Fallout series is its steampunk retro-futuristic art style, which was inspired by 1950s literature and media related to the Atomic Age. The game's atmosphere is heavily influenced by the post-World War II United States and its environment, filled with hope for a better future that advancements in technology would bring, combined with the fear of nuclear war. The first Fallout game was released in 1997 and was set in a post-apocalyptic Southern California, beginning in the year 2161. Since its release, there have been several more entries and spin-offs, further adding to the lore of the Fallout universe. It certainly is no easy task to adapt a video game series set in a universe with such a rich and sprawling history. A TV series adaptation of Fallout was first teased back in summer of 2020. The live-action show is being produced by Amazon Studios and Westworld's creators Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy's Kilter Films, in association with Todd Howard from Bethesda Game Studios and James Altman from Bethesda Softworks, who are listed as executive producers. The series will be streaming on Amazon Prime. While Nolan and Joy are attached as executive producers, Variety reported in January of this year that Geneva Robertson Doiré and Graham Wagner have signed on as co-showrunners of the video game adaptation. Robertson Doiré is best known for her work on the film screenplays for 2018's Tomb Raider and 2019's Captain Marvel, while Wagner's past credits include Silicon Valley, Portlandia, Baskets, and The Office. Jonathan Nolan is currently set to direct the series' pilot episode. Shortly after the showrunner's announcement, casting reveals began, starting with Walton Goggins being cast for a lead role in the series. Goggins is an actor in high demand, appearing in many TV and film roles including the series Justified, The Shield, and The Unicorn, and the films The Hateful Eight and Django Unchained. While Amazon had no comment on the character Goggins will play in the Fallout series, according to Variety sources, he will portray a character based on the ghouls from the games. Ghouls are humans whose flesh has been ravaged and disfigured due to intense and prolonged exposure to radiation, but who are also largely immune to radiation and nuclear fallout as a result. Yellowjacket star Ella Purnell was also announced in a lead role. Purnell has recently starred in Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead from Netflix, and though details regarding Purnell's Fallout role are not being revealed, Variety reports that she is believed to be playing a lead character known as Jean, a young woman with a can-do attitude who may be hiding a dangerous secret. The most recent casting choices just announced by Variety include Kyle MacLachlan, Zelia Mendez-Jones, and Aaron Motten, who are joining as series regulars. So far, there are no details regarding the characters they are set to portray. Perhaps best known for his work with David Lynch, McLaughlin has starred in 1984's Dune, Twin Peaks, and Blue Velvet. Mendez Jones will appear in the Netflix film Havoc and in Season 2 of the Wheel of Time series. And Martin, who most recently starred in Father Stew, will be seen next in the Apple film Emancipation, also starring Will Smith. While details are scant regarding the plot for the Fallout TV series, it is known that the show will follow the game's setting as a retro-futuristic alternate future several decades after a nuclear war between China and the US has left most of the world in a radiated wasteland. One can't help but wonder if the series will attempt to depict and subsequently stay true to a particular portion of the game's storyline, 
or if it will feature an entirely new timeline of events, as was the case with the much maligned Halo series that recently aired on Paramount+. Video game adaptations are notorious, more often than not, for being a big miss for fans of the original franchise. I find that there doesn't seem to be much middle ground when it comes to fan reception of films and shows based on beloved video games. Fans will either love it or hate it. It'll be interesting to see where this series will fall, not just for fans, but also general audiences encountering Fallout for the first time. But I'm curious to know what do you think about this particular TV series adaptation? What do you think the showrunners need to do in order to make a successful adaptation of Fallout? Do you think the showrunners should try to adapt a particular Fallout storyline as closely as possible, or pursue an alternate timeline, or perhaps expand into entirely new events and characters? Are there any casting choices that excite you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy content. Thank you all so much for your support. And as always, have a very nerdy day.